You ready? You ready? Here we go. Any mice today? Ooh, maybe. Not interested? What do you want? Come on, there's nothing there. All right, we got a couple decent dry days, so we're going to try our hand at hauling a little bit of manure today. He's getting the gate, so we're gonna go ahead and bring we're gonna go ahead and bring the girl out. So the lights on in the first place. See if I can get out of here without hitting anything. It is not a easy pass or a lot of room by any means, so. It's alright if I hit something by myself, but when dad watches it gets makes everybody get a little on edge for sure. Everybody can kind of relate to that shit. So I'm gonna take her easy out of here. Hope that I'm not gonna clip the side of this bar. We got that concrete out here that we just kind of it doesn't really get a it doesn't really get a lot of manure on it but it gets real sloppy especially when it's about to rain tomorrow we're expecting a little bit of weather so we're going to try and get it's only about one load on it uh, one load on that concrete so we're going to try and get that off of here Got that, got that load loaded. There's a little bit more than one load, so but I think we're just gonna, I'm gonna go see how this field is, cause it's not necessarily that frozen yet to really be doing this, but I'm gonna try my luck with it. So this field's only, I don't know, probably 10 minutes on a tractor, if I'm really moving, but, so it's not too terribly far away, but, whoa. Not too terribly far away, so we should be there any second. I guess I've never really actually tried to think about it. I used to always just drive over here because you've got to come over here no matter what. So here I am. But it's not that wet at the moment. Hold on, let me turn this on just to make sure I don't mess nothing up.
All right, we're good. So, yeah, it's here, we're here. It's really not that wet right now. So we're gonna keep giving her a shot here, at least with this load. I mean, this thing, I don't know if you guys, how well you guys can see it, but I mean, we bought this manure spreader, it's a slinger. Uh, we bought this thing probably seven or eight years ago. And it's honestly been one of the best purchases for us because we make a lot of hay in the summer. So, I mean, being able to cut the first cutting of hay off and then come through and just put a light, like a light layer of manure on stuff so you can get, still kind of get a good cutting off of it again, not cutting manure when you come back to cut the hay. It works out pretty good. So we really like it. I mean, this thing, I mean, we're slinging stuff 100, 200 feet out there. So you can cover quite a bit of ground with it. And we don't really pay attention to how many, like, how much we put on like per acre. Like we're not too, we're not too anal about any of that stuff. We're just putting it on there. Cause I mean, nine times out of 10, we're still gonna have to fertilize this field no matter how much we were to put on it. So, but it works out pretty good for us. haul manure from like pen pack or with a little bit of hay in it this manure spreader kind of struggles to get like the last front end of it out and I asked dad before I left I said do I need to bring a pitchfork to make sure I can get all this stuff out of here because if you don't have a pitchfork if it like if it doesn't load the front if you don't have a pitchfork it is a absolute disaster so if this, if this does pile up and doesn't load the front, not going to be right So I don't know if you guys can see it, but that front right there, right in the front of the manure sprayer, it's kind of has, like, it's a big hay chunk. It's not real big because we pile it up and we're hoping it would probably at least like break down a little bit. And it seems to be sitting pretty still right now. So I'm beginning to get a little nervous, but we're going to keep going. So it did get out, as you can see, clean as can be. So that was a very, very big relief because I'm not gonna lie to you, it is a pain in the ass to hop out of this thing and try and shovel that stuff down without a pitch for it. So you're pretty much just in there kicking it down and ruin your boots, ruin your pants, and then you get back to the tractor and everything just gets, everything smells like that for weeks, so. But we made it, so I'm not worried about that. <laughs> 